With the economy still in a funk, the mayors of Prospect and Naugatuck are struggling to keep budgets and taxes low while still making the town function. Prospect was hit hard in last year's property revaluation. The town's grand list, or tax base, went from nearly $830 million to about $784 million, a drop of almost 6%. It was more than what I thought. I had no idea what it would be, but I never thought it would go down $45 million. Naugatuck's revaluation won't be done until October, but Mayor Bob Mezzo also expects the grand list to go down. And if that's the case, future budgets will be tougher with higher taxes. It's still going to require a certain amount of money to, um, to run your government, and unfortunately, uh, to make up for the loss in assessment, you'll see an increase in the mill rate. The mayors are between a rock and a hard place. Either draft a budget that helps services but raises taxes, or build one that keeps taxes the same but can't get as much work done. I was going to bond some money to reconstruct some roads this year, but when I saw the grand list go down $45 million, I didn't think that would be prudent to even consider doing that. We're still facing the same numbers crunching that we've done for the past few years. So while both mayors say they're being frugal about the way they put together this year's budget, that doesn't mean they're not still planning on ways to get things done for the future. Each year our controller comes and says to us, if we have a surplus, that it's appropriate to use a certain amount of that, for lack of a better word, a savings account. We try to chip away at our capital needs by using appropriately uh, our fund balance. Chatfield says that by holding off on construction projects for now, Prospect can take advantage of record low interest rates and pay off its debts quickly to open up room for future work. In about uh, four and a half more years, all my bonds will be, will be debt free. Prospect's budget, a 1.1% increase over last year's, passed a town vote last week. Naugatuck's budget will come together over the next few weeks for a vote in May. Reporting for Citizens News, I'm Kyle Brennan.